Working with multiple models. We have been tasked with reviewing several details pertaining to our proposed site design. These details are all stored in the site plan details design file as individual models. MicroStation provides for an unlimited number of models of any type to be stored in a DGN file. This can be especially useful when working with project details. Multiple details may be stored within the same design file along with any associated sheet layouts that are used for printing purposes. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn View Models, Change the Active Model, View Model Properties, Use the View Groups Toolbar. Here in MicroStation, let's go ahead now and open the Site Plan Details. This is located in the folder MS Basic Civil DGN 01 Introduction to MicroStation. This design file contains a variety of details related to the site design project. We have some settings that need to be verified for these details. From the Home tab, in the primary ribbon group, pick Models. The Models dialog opens, displaying the list of models contained in this DGN file. As can be seen from the Type column, this design file contains multiple design models and sheet models. The active model has its name displayed in a highlight color. In the models dialog, go ahead now and double click the model lighting standard detail, making this the active model. Observe the view window. You can see now the geometry displayed for this detail. In the models dialog, pick edit model properties. In the general properties, observe the current annotation scale. It is set to 1 inch equals 1 foot, and Propagate Annotation Scale is on. From the View Groups toolbar, which is located along the bottom edge of the MicroStation application window, browse the available view groups, and then pick Sanitary Sewer Cleanout Views. The active model becomes Sanitary Sewer Cleanout. This is a convenient way to switch between models in the active DGN. When creating a model, a setting, which is on by default, provides for creating a view group. It is also possible to have multiple view groups for a single model, with each displaying the content of the model differently. Now, using view groups, take a few moments to review the models contained in the DGN file. Take note. It is possible to move the View Groups toolbar to a different location within the MicroStation interface. If you have trouble locating the View Groups toolbar, from the keyboard press Ctrl T to open the list of available toolboxes and toggle the display of Manage View Groups. Next, open the model Downspout Connection. Annotation scale is currently at 1 inch equals 1 foot, and Propagate Annotation Scale is off. In the View window, below the title of the model, it states Not to Scale. Even though the Detail Scale is intended to be used as Not to Scale, an annotation scale still needs to be applied to the model to set the size of the annotation. In the Properties dialog, in the General Properties, set the following ensuring to set them in this order. First, set the Propagate Annotation Scale property to On, and then Annotation Scale, set this to be 1 half inch equals 1 foot. Observe the changes to the model. The geometry for the downspout connection remains the same, but the size of the annotation in the model has been updated reflecting the annotation scale of 1 half inch equals 1 foot. From the Models dialog, open the model Detail 01. In the View window, observe the drawing title. This title gets its value, Detail 01, automatically based upon the name of the model. 
the name of the model needs to be updated. From properties, in general, change the name to concrete thrust blocking. The model name has now been updated and can be seen in the model's dialog. Go ahead now and observe the title text in the view window. This text is a text field. A field is a piece of text whose content is derived from the object properties such as file, model, or element. From the properties dialog, in general, change the update fields automatically to true. Observe the change to the drawing title text in the view window. When finished, you may close the properties and the model's dialog. In this lesson, you learned how to navigate through the models contained in a design file, setting the active model as desired, and view model properties. You also learned how to use the view groups toolbar for model navigation. So where do you go from here? Be sure to log in to the Bentley Learn server at learn.bentley.com. Here, you will find a wealth of learning paths for all of our software products. The next course in the learning path, the MicroStation Connect Edition Basics for Civil Designers is Controlling the Display of Designs. Covered in this course will be Attaching references of project-related data Controlling levels through level display Setting the annotation scale Creating and applying display styles Creating clip volumes and saved views So, enroll and immerse yourself in Controlling the Display of Designs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.